In this lesson, we introduce bicyclic compounds, spirocycles, fused bicycles, and bridged bicycles, and explain the basics of their systematic nomenclature. A bicyclic compound has two rings that share atoms. Bicyclic compounds are extremely common in nature and represent many of the most important organic compounds. The shared atoms are called bridge heads, and the chains of atoms that connect them are called bridges. There are three fundamental types of bicycles. Spirocycles, fused bicycles, and bridged bicycles. In a spirocyclic compound, the rings share only one atom. If we look at the example, we see a central carbon atom that is shared by two five-atom rings. This circled atom is a bridge head, which is often called a spirocenter in spirocyclic systems. Emanating from the spirocenter are two identical four-atom bridges that each loop back onto the bridge head. So here is a 3D model of that same spirocyclic compound. Notice that the two rings are actually perpendicular to one another, which is not immediately obvious in the original 2D skeletal structure. Because of this, the spirocenter of a spirocycle is often drawn using dashes and wedges to better represent that 3D shape. In a fused bicyclic compound, the rings share two adjacent atoms. If we look at the example, we see two fused six-atom rings. The two rings share two adjacent carbons. These circled atoms are the bridge heads. There are three distinct bridges that connect the two bridge heads to each other. A four-atom bridge to the left, a four-atom bridge to the right, and a zero-atom bridge in the center. So here are 3D models of the same fused bicyclic system. The two rings can be fused with either a cis or trans relationship. In the left model, you can see that the two hydrogens attached to the bridge heads are oriented in the same direction, or cis. In the right model, you can see that these same two hydrogens are oriented in opposite directions, or trans. In a bridged bicyclic compound, the rings share two non-adjacent atoms. The example shows the same bridged bicyclic system drawn two different ways. The drawing on the right is a bit easier to understand, so let's start there. In this drawing, you can see an outer six-atom ring, as well as a five-atom ring on the right side, and another rather distorted five-atom ring on the left side. The two circled bridge heads are shared by each ring, but are not bonded to each other. There are three distinct bridges that connect the two bridge heads to each other. A two-atom bridge to the left, a similar two-atom bridge to the right, and a one-atom bridge in the center. So here is a 3D model of the same bridged bicyclic system. Right now, we're looking at the model from a top-down perspective, similar to the drawing on the right. If the model is rotated along the x-axis, you can hopefully see how the other drawing on the left is derived. In this left drawing, you can again see the three separate bridges connecting the two bridge heads. Notice in the model that the vertical bond in the one-atom bridge near the center passes in front of a bond in the left bridge. This spatial relationship is represented in the drawing by adding a small pad of space to either side of the bond at the front. This added space separates the lines that represent the two bonds, avoiding an intersection that could be misinterpreted as a carbon atom in a skeletal structure. So let's take a look at how the three types of bicyclic compounds are named. We'll start with spirocycles. With all bicyclic compounds, the parent chain is determined by the sum of all the atoms in all the rings of the bicyclic part of the molecule. In the example, we see a spirocycle with both a six-atom ring and a four-atom ring. The two rings share one atom, so the total number of atoms contained within both rings is nine, making this a nonane. The prefix spiro is added to the front of the parent name to designate that the compound is spirocyclic, making this a spirononane. The last thing is to incorporate the lengths of each bridge into the name. In this case, we see a five-atom bridge on the left and a three-atom bridge on the right. The bridge sizes are placed in square brackets listed in ascending order and separated with a period. The bracketed information is then inserted after the spiro prefix. In this example, the final name is spiro 35 nonane The process for naming fused bicycles is quite similar. Again, the parent chain is determined by the sum of all the atoms in the rings that make up the bicyclic part of the molecule. In the example, we see a fused bicyclic system with both a five-atom ring and a six-atom ring. The two rings share two atoms, so the total number of atoms contained within both rings is nine, making this a non-aim. The prefix bicyclo is added to the front of the parent name to designate that the compound is a fused bicycle, 
making this a bicyclonaname. We next incorporate the lengths of each bridge into the name. In this case, we see a three-atom bridge on the left, a four-atom bridge on the right, and a zero-atom bridge in the center. The bridge sizes are placed in square brackets, listed in descending order, and separated with a period. Yes, it's annoying that the bridge ordering for spiral cycles is ascending and the order for other bicycles is descending. Just as with spiral cycles, the bracketed information is inserted after the bicyclo prefix. In this example, the final name is bicyclo 430 name. A value of zero for the third bridge size will always indicate a fused bicycle. We'll wrap up by looking at how bridged bicycles are named. Once again, the parent chain is determined by the sum of all the atoms in the rings that make up the bicyclic part of the molecule. In the example, we see a bridged bicycle comprised of two five-atom rings and one six-atom ring. The total number of atoms contained within the rings is seven, making this a heptane. As with fused systems, a bicyclo prefix is added to the front of the parent name to designate that the compound is a bridged bicycle, making this a bicycloheptane. Just as with other bicyclic systems, the name is finished by adding the lengths of each bridge. In this case, we see a two-atom bridge on the left, a two-atom bridge on the right, and a one-atom bridge in the center. The bridge sizes are placed in square brackets, again listed in descending order, and separated with a period. The bracketed information is then inserted after the bicyclo prefix as before. In this example, the final name is bicyclo 221 heptane a non-zero value for the third bridge size will always indicate a bridged bicycle.